Had to give her a little shave, birthday shave. We have a Cantonese style fish. Oh, you forgot. <laughs> you, no, forgot. I mean, you actually yeah. forgot, eh? So yeah, big shout out to everybody who wished me happy birthday love today. But this video that you guys are gonna be watching today is long, but I just decided for my birthday, I was like, you know what? For the birthday vlog, we're gonna leave it like pretty raw, uncut, just like literally letting you guys in on my life, kind of like what I've been doing the last few days. So let me know in the comments if you guys want these kind of videos still. If you want me to just keep them raw and keep them going, I can upload like this to you guys all day. So let me know. Guys, I appreciate you all. Oh, one more thing before I go and roll this video, guys. Check this stat out, okay? Check out that stat. Like, come on guys. I'm, I'm, I'm putting content out. I'm doing this every day. Putting effort into everything that I'm doing. Show your boy some love and hit that sub button. There's way too many of you. Like literally half of you guys watching my videos aren't even subs. So come on, like let's get her going, man. Okay, fuck bro. Let's fucking go, bro. Come on, bro. Just hit the fucking sub button, bro. Anyways, you already know the deal, okay? Birthday vlog, raw and uncut. I'm about to eat this meal. After I eat this meal and everything like that, guys, and you finish watching this video, I'll go ahead and catch up with you at the end, all right? Go, go, go. So every morning, as you know, myself, Jeff Lee, of course the dogs, we have been doing this morning hike. All of our ideas pretty much come on our morning walks. Yeah, especially when you are going down here when you see all of that. And then we start talking about, hey, what about this? What about that? If you are confined with the same routine, it means you think exactly the same way. So get outside and even though uh, you don't have a mission to do a lot, but just see things a little bit further, you know, open your mind a little bit better. Pretty much I'm on like 12 or 13 days in a row now where I'm just doing a morning hike. Sometimes I'll do days where I jog it, some days where I just walk it. The one thing I've just learned about me being on this mission right now to drop some weight, lose some body fat, is just first thing in the morning is getting my body moving just to kickstart my metabolism. So I just finished up the morning hike. That is not it for the day. We got to train strength and we are going to be joined by a special guest, a fellow friend from back home in Toronto. Uh, he trains a bunch of high performance athletes, professional athletes, and we are going to get a little workout today in the backyard. So let's get it. All right, guys, in the backyard right now here with Roy rocking the Trinity boxing merch. You see what's good. And uh, Roy's gonna take us through a little workout today. The mobility conditioning will turn into functional athletics, some plyometrics. Switch. Get one more. It's Beautiful. Oh. Rotate, huh? Rotate. Rotate, coil up. Yeah. Explode. Hey Siri, set timer for 40 seconds. Guys, it may not look like much, but I'm telling you, this type of training, it like sucks the life out of you. We just look at strength a little bit differently. Like how do you measure it? Is strength measured by how much weight you can lift up and down consecutively? Is that how you measure strength? Or are there different angles to strength? You need to be strong in different directions and in different, you know, positions. And that's what we're looking at. It depends what your end goal is, right? Yeah. If your end goal is the sport of powerlifting, cool. That's, yeah. that's the type of training you need to do. If your end goal is bodybuilding and like isolation hypertrophy, cool, that's what you need to do. But if your end goal is like athletic performance, hiking, biking, going for like the Dwayne Johnson look good. Yeah. Or are we going for the Cristiano Ronaldo lean to your frame look good? Short and sweet, guys. And look, I'm fucking gassed, but... My dad's in the kitchen whipping us up some food right now, so we're gonna go see what's good. All right, we got my dad putting Roy to work in the kitchen now, learning a couple things. Everybody's gotta work. A tablespoon of that too. Nice. We got Roy making the dressing right now. Big 31 coming up, guys. Your boy's turning 31. What's in here? This one I have, uh, you know, the guanjale. We bought it in the market, remember? You know, the uh, Yorkshire pork. Yeah. Ranjale, squash, braised onion. We got cooking the pasta. Post workout meal. Some uh, bow tie pasta with butternut squash. Looks like there's some. What is pesto in there, chef, or no? Uh, no, no pesto. Use just squash. 
Okay, uh, your boy back in the kitchen. Y'all didn't know what the deal is right now. We're about to be fucking chefing up some Mediterranean style cuisine tonight. What type of accent would you say it was that I was just doing right there? Did you get? But I'm like, y'all didn't know the fucking deal, what time it is. We're about to do a little fucking, you know, chefing up a little Mediterranean cuisine. Y'all didn't know a whole lot of you gang know, shit, yeah? What, ki what, ki what kind of, what style of, of accent would you say that that is? That is like for people doing an auction. Auction? Like auction for cows. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Yeah. Like fast talking, fast right? Fast talking, but with like that kind of... Yeah. All right. So, anyways, you already know the fucking deal. You already know what time it is. Do a little bit of Mediterranean cuisine right now. Anyways, your boy rocking a fresh, tight, clean Louis T. You know, I'm feeling leaner these days. No fucking light, bro. Still no fucking light, bro. We're in the kitchen right now. Tonight we decided to do a little bit of a Mediterranean style cuisine. Guys, I'm gonna reveal something to you real quick, all right? Check it out. Obviously, you guys know I'm coming heavy this fall. And actually, shout out Tarek, because Tarek is the one, dad, yeah. who's been telling me for the longest time, he's like, you know, I have a pair of your old uh, Trinity sweatpants and they're my favorite sweats. You gotta drop another pair of sweats. So I'm gonna drop these black ones, just very simple, clean vibes, I like you know? Super, really right? Actually, you know what, I don't, I don't mind them. How would you describe this, dad? Which one? Hard work and also dedication. Do you know the word conceited? Conceited? Yeah. Some people might be like, oh, this guy's obsessed oh. with himself. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. yes How, what, what, what do you say to the people who are like, oh, he's fucking obsessed with himself? Well, you know what the word is, uh, you know, you just wanted to uh, set up uh, your passion and show examples, right? Sometimes, you know, somebody got to do it. It's not about uh, obsessed about yourself, but, you know, you have a passion of uh, taking care of yourself and you have a passion of uh, learning about yourself. And hard work pays off. So you want to show it off sometimes a little bit, right? Yeah, because you know, if you have a flappy uh, tummy and you say to yourself, how am I going to get there? But there's only one thing. Do you, do you think that if you saw this video of me doing it like this though, dad? Yeah. Going like this, would you be like, oh, he's a bit obsessed with himself? Oh, totally. <laughs> That's too much self-love, right? Big shout out to Tarek because he's actually the one that convinced me to drop these sweatpants. Now they're gonna be coming with the black crew neck. Now these ones that I'm actually wearing right now are like a really cheap quality version. Initially when I printed these out, I wasn't sure what blanks I wanted to use because the problem is if you use a good quality sweatpant is that it's actually more expensive than the crew neck. So you guys know the last gray crew neck that I did, which was like super high quality cream of the crop. Ask anyone who copped them and has received them by now, the quality is insane. Uh, but the sweatpants are actually $10 more than the crew neck, the cost of the blank. So if I was selling the sweater for 77, the pants are gonna be 87. So I know it sounds expensive, but I will tell you this right now. I have a pair of LA apparel sweatpants that I've been wearing by a company that printed something on them a long time ago. I think it was a company called like Bricks, Bricks and something. Anyways, they're, they're these gray ones. And I bought them when I first came here to LA and they're probably easily in my top three most worn sweats. Just because the quality of them is so good and after a wash, they start to actually like soften up a little bit. You guys will see even from like the quality of the sweaters when you first get them, they really got that sort of like crispy, hard, stiff feeling, which there's nothing wrong with that. I like that feel. But the great thing about it is as you wash it, it doesn't affect the shape of the, the garment at all. If anything, it actually just softens it up a little bit. And over time, it will age really nicely. And the same thing with the sweatpants. So for anyone that ends up copying the all black sweatsuit, trust me, you're gonna be friggin' happy with the quality. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and move on to this Mediterranean style dinner. So let's get All right, so we just gotta get the prep and everything out of the way. So I'm like, no, obviously, so obviously I'm not gonna film too much of that. But right now, my dad is gonna show us how to prepare the mussels. See this? Put your finger, you just pull it out. Get another bowl, store it. You see the beard. This is how they, uh, you know, being feed, right? In the ocean. Oh, the mussel, you know what? It's so fresh. It's so fresh that uh, you can give them a little squeeze and start closing up. All right, so the mussels, you remove the beard, and pour some of that water out, let it soak. All right, so we just finished boiling these potatoes about halfway through, so cooked to about 50%. We're gonna go ahead and put them in the bowl here like so. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Ooh, yeah, it's a lot it's more than I thought. This is the good stuff right here. See, 
I dried this marjoram. Mmm, it smells, you know. Mm. So, you know, I wanted to uh, have to fist it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think I know all these terms, right? You didn't think, you, I thought you wouldn't know that one. You know what, I'm going to take off this skin. This skin I find is really tough. Too tough? Yeah. Cantonese, you know what they call it? I don't know what they call it. I know what they call it. What do you call that? Go go bao pei. So now we're checking the squid to see if it's too tough to eat. Yeah. What do you think? You tell me. Yeah. Too tough? Yeah, this is a squid for stewing. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we decided to use a piece of the turbo instead. Which actually in turn, guys, it's actually my favorite fish. To be honest, out of any type of fish cooked, Turbo is my favorite. So meaty, so plump, so juicy. Highly recommend Turbo if you can get it. Fish just has a little bit of white pepper, a little bit of salt as well. We're gonna do that. Tell me when on the Worcestershire. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, both sides. You know, all the greens, right? That one, right? We bought some fresh baguette today, so we threw some homemade garlic butter, obviously made by Chef Lee, right on those. So we're gonna go ahead and throw those right in the oven like so. Close that up. As you can see, the potatoes are coming through almost ready. We had these fresh mussels delivered to us just the other day, so we're gonna show you guys how we prepare them, right? I use a little bit of olive oil. Garlic. Just quickly stir it up. Get the aroma, make sure they're not nice, they're not burnt. Shell out, go down right away. So bay leaf down. Mm -hmm. Nice. So now one mix of juice, white wine. Turn it up high. Move around, put a lid on, beforehand, also we're going to put a dash of 35% cream, smooth, a little more velvet, the word is, a little cream. Now sometimes you know, uh, you uh, have uh, a... uh, what do you think you're doing there? Are you going to turn your garbage dog, baby nine? Uh, 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 oh, no, excuse me. Oh. Now, don't forget the fresh thyme. Just gonna put a little bit of thyme in there. Not first time. I have some thyme. I dry it out because I don't want to waste anything. So mussel is cooking now. Fish marinated a bit with uh, Worcestershire. You know, flour the fish a little bit. Mm. Oh, I, I I like the way they they fillet it perfectly. You know. Good job. Now there are two sides. There's a skin side and there's a bone side. They butter inside. Meanwhile, check, check, check. It's still cooking. Don't touch it. Don't do anything. Meanwhile, we're going to pick this thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Put a little garlic and shallot mixed together. Garlic and chovies always go very nicely together. And I have some uh, probano that I skin off. I burn it in a barbecue. I have a quick saute like that. A little dash of white wine. Okay. Mm. Mm. A parsley. Just a little bit of butter, not so much. Mm. Go down to the mussels. Yeah, go ahead. Mm. See, there's a lot of like female mussels here. You know the rot red one? Mm. Warm enough. Is it warm? 
Are they getting the thumbnail, Dad? What do you mean the thumbnail? Look. Greek potato. You, see, you hear the sound? You hear the crunch, the crisp crunch, yeah. Lemon juice. Okay, serving some mussels, some turbo, a little bit of Greek style potatoes, some kale and onion, and some chicken. Alright guys, we just woke up here, beautiful little morning going on, see the dew, but Kai and my dad are starting to feel a little bit run down. You know, we gotta make sure we attack whatever virus or bacterial infection it is ASAP. And of course, first thing you gotta do, you gotta boost your immune system, keep your water intake up, and I'm gonna start the day off for them uh, with making just basically some ginger shots. Just gonna cut this up. Just gonna, yeah, there you go. Some turmeric powder. I would say two teaspoons. Right in there, like so. Everything. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Very wow. nice. Mm. Perfect amount of uh, ginger. <laughs> Guys, we just did six rounds of light sparring. I'm here with the legendary man himself, Joaquim Alcine, world champion in what weight class? Tell them a little bit about yourself. Uh, junior middleweight. One junior middleweight. Yeah. WBA world champion right here, guys. Yeah. All right? No joke, this is the real deal. Now we're gonna work some pads. To be honest, I'm not gonna like take you guys through the workout. My dad's chilling right now, so he's just gonna like film some of the stuff, so. Anyways, time to wrap up and hit some pads. Everything you... You're in control, basically. See what time it is. Speed and accuracy beats power, right? Deep breathing. You always said that. Yeah. 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 Oh, 
So some people have been commenting being like, yo, stop it. No, barking in the house, no. So I know some of you guys wanna see like some proper sparring footage, but truth be told, you know, gyms aren't really open right now. And like I got my dad here, so I'm not trying to go and just like link up with random people and just like. The thing in the world of boxing too is that like, unless you know kind of like the person who you're sparring with or you get like the okay from them, like people are weird about videoing them with sparring and stuff and like truth be told i try to spar when i can but like i haven't even sparred like since the you know the whole quarantine thing has been happening because gyms have been closed and when wildcard was open i was sparring there with some of the guys there and stuff but even in wildcard like you're not allowed to even film at all period in the gym so i'm just trying to train right now to stay fit always 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 after you train always stretch if you can't touch your toes okay if you can't do that reach and touch your toes like that then you're not stretching enough so um i don't even stretch that much but i just make sure you know that i always 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 get my stretching in because the one thing that i've learned a lot about getting older you know now that i'm in my 30s one thing that i have noticed is that you know being now 30 years old i definitely feel like you know growing into like you know my man body now that I definitely feel like I have like a good amount of like raw strength but I do notice now that when I'm training if I have like a hard day of training if I don't properly take care of myself after meaning that I stretch and hydrate that the recovery time is just so much longer than from when I was in my like mid 20s you have to take care of yourself after because I'm telling you like once you start to get older shit just slows down like it's just not the same you don't have the same sort of like jump that you would have had like you know that you have in your early 20s so take care of your body so you can continue to train at like a high volume when you're entering 30s and stuff like that yeah no so stretching and all that stuff is so important what are you guys doing you're being so fucking bratty boba you're being bratty as hell yeah get him kobe show him kobe show him but then this one is so important for me too, is my low back. I need a massage is what I need, bruh. If there's anybody in the LA area watching this right now who does good in-home massage. Oh my God. Holler at me because I need you. Look at this, my car was fucked before, guys. Shout out Jack, man, coming so through, bad. fixing everything up. Look at this shit. Everything's like brand new. I haven't seen the car look like this since it was brand new. Show you guys a little midday snack, okay? A little bit of sea urchin, aka uni, to some seaweed. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Guys, honestly, my car is looking completely brand new. I have to give, give Jack a huge shout out for taking care of me and just you know doing such a good job on the car. Uh, if you're in LA and you guys need anything done with your car, you know, body touch-ups, wheel touch-ups, you know, oil change, any failure with engine stuff, or just any maintenance on your car, period. Make sure you guys go check them out because, y'all, I'm being real, they did a crazy job. All right, guys, gotta go run some errands today. You guys know it's pretty much been my dad and I just, you know, full running these vlogs, but, um, you know, you guys know I've been posting, like, really consistently, so, like, obviously, the engagement's been crazy. You guys have been commenting like crazy, so Zach came to me. Um, today he was like, yo, there's so many comments and views. Yo, that's like, such a lie. It's actually insane. What? It's literally a lie. <laughs> so we got Zach here, you know, joining us today, running some errands. And what else do we have to do, Chef? Uh, well, you know, your friend, yeah. uh, Jack, really took good care of you. And, uh, you know, to show your appreciation, uh, I think, uh, you know, come from your heart in terms of the present. I think uh, we have to drop it off. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be really appreciated. And I think, um, can I keep stop saying I'm think, I think, I, of course I, I say it. Why do yeah. I, of course I'm thinking, right? Well, we can always just, if just there's anything, it. anything you want me to cut out, I can always cut out. Yeah, can you? Yeah, yeah. just the thinking part is like ridiculous. Don't want to be procrastinating yesterday, today, and day before, all that, you know, we just have to do it and it's done, you know? All right, sir, so don't matter what. This is what my dad always said, don't matter what. Getting that Okay, is it don't matter what? Or no matter what, no or do or do not, no matter what. So no don't not don't matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it? No matter what. But how come when we were younger you would say don't matter what? Well, maybe because oh, you just I just got oh yeah, my brain got mush and tired and 
working so much. And, and always on Sundays, whenever it was your one day off at the restaurant, how often would, would you, when we would say, okay, let's go to a movie tonight, would you cancel last minute because you were so tired? <laughs> yeah, I, I, could be, I couldn't believe I did that. Eh? But like, how tired were you? I, I, you know, were you that tired or were you actually just kind of over exaggerating? No, bit? you know, I, I remember making dinner for you guys first. And then after making dinner, it's like, holy shit, I, I just cannot move. And then next day, I had to go, get up and go to the terminal, right? Yeah. So it's really hard. I remember falling asleep on in the theater too, remember? Yeah. And then when you guys got out from a the theater, one thing I really fucking hated, you guys start <laughs> teasing each other, especially you, teasing Kai. Yeah, you look so stupid, huh, Kai? <laughs> you know, like, uh, Kai, Kai. Uh, is Jack here or no? No, no? no, I wanted to leave this for you and for him. I, I just have a bunch of clothes because you guys, oh, you guys did such a good job on the car. Yeah. Thank you. No, you know, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Where, where is Jack today? I think he's at work and uh, that. Because you guys did such a good job on the whip. Wanted to say thank hey, you. You know. Jack, how are you? Hi. Hey, you gotta get you and your dad to my house. We go for dinner. Food. We're gonna yes. cook for you guys. So yeah, big shout out to those guys for hooking up the whip. Again, if you ever need any auto body needs, go see J&J. But on with the rest of the day. It is uh, actually the day before my birthday and tonight we are gonna be celebrating a special birthday dinner at a restaurant here in Los Angeles called Cato. But we'll get into that later, guys. Anyways, on with the rest of the day. We're doing a little bit errand. I'm very excited. Oh, me too. Trust, I'm very excited. Feeling the fit, B? Yeah. So what are we doing right now? We're gonna spice up the house with a couple uh, plants that your dad's checking out, and I'm actually excited because I think the house needs a little bit of more green. Yeah, I like, I like, I like the one. I like this look, you know, because it, the house is kind of low, so you can actually see it, right? Yeah. All right, so we got the plants. Okay guys, so I'm about to upload this video right now. All right, big shout out to everybody who's been showing me all kinds of love on my birthday. You know, 31 years young, still going strong. 31, but feel like I'm 21 still. So guys, just gotta keep her going and just fucking keep the head down, keep working, trust in the process, you know. But yeah, I'm signing out on this vlog, guys. Appreciate all the love and support and uh, more videos on the way.